Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Fitfly. I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, you're gonna talk about how to become a pilot. We are in India, so we're gonna talk about how to become a pilot in India. This is the most requested topic by you all on my Instagram page. So without wasting any time, let's start this video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the types of pilots. Then we're gonna talk about the basic requirements to be a pilot. Then where to go for the basic pilot license and the commercial pilot license where we have to best to be go for the commercial pilot license we have to go for the flying schools or the cadet programs we're going to discuss about everything how much it cost you for a flying school for a cadet program we're going to discuss it all and last we're going to talk about the salary of a pilot okay now we're going to talk about the types of pilot there are two types of pilot the first one is the air force the indian air force and the second one is the commercial and the Air Force pilots are totally different from a commercial because the basic requirements for an Indian Air Force pilot are totally different from commercial pilot. We're going to talk about it in this video all about the commercial pilots, how to be a commercial pilot in India. Okay. In the commercial, there are two types like a scheduled and the second one is a non-scheduled. The schedules belongs to like all airlines in India, there are Air India. Vistara, Go Air, Spicejet and Indigo and AirAsia. Okay. And in the non schedule, we can cover that the air ambulance and the charter planes. Now we're going to talk about the basic requirements. The basic requirements. I just made a list. Many people ask about the basic requirements. What are the basic requirements? I just a few questions. I have few questions on the basic requirements. They all need to be cleared in my video. Okay. I just clear all the questions you asked on my page the first one is the indian citizen you need to be a, an indian citizen okay the second one is the age criteria age criteria is 18 to 32 the basic age criteria is 18 to 32 but few cadet program have different one of one of them have 18 to 32 one of them has 18 to 35 as their age criteria mentioned in their website okay but we gonna later talk about the cadet program then the third one is the vision your eye should must be 6 by 6. Many people ask me uh, like uh, I, I used to specs is the specs is allowed. Yes, specs are allowed because the for to hold a commercial pilot license the requirement is the your, your eye should eyesight should must be 6 by 6. Okay. With or without specs. Your eye should must be a clear mentioned that your eye should must be 6 by 6 without specs or with specs now we're going to talk about the education like uh, what you need your uh, in 12th and all yeah you need to be a you need to clear the pcm okay there is a physics chemistry maths you have to be with pcm physics chemistry and maths and the basic language is english you need to be fluent in english and many many people ask me about I am a commerce student. Can I be a pilot? Yes, you can be a pilot, but you have to be cleared your exam again with the PCM, Physics, Chemistry, Math. Okay, because there is a NIUS, National Institute of Open Schooling. They clearly take a three in every three to four months. They take a paper. Okay, there you can give a uh, Physics, Chemistry, Maths paper and clear your twelfth with the PCM. Then you can be a perfect to be a pilot to uh, the basic requirements for uh, being a pilot is PCM and it will be fulfilled with you. Okay. The proficiency in English, you need to be the perfect in English because the English is the international civil aviation language. Okay. Because you can't be, if someone is uh, speaking in Hindi, Telugu, Tamil, Bengali, then you can't talk in, you can't communicate with everything. So, so English is the basic aviation language, international language. Okay. And then the last basic urgent important requirement is the medicals. Class 2 and class 1 medicals certificates to be made. Okay. You need to clear class 1 and class 2 medicals for holding a commercial pilot license. Okay. Class 1 medical are very toughest medical. Just I am not just scaring you, just like mentioning you that the class 2 and class 1 medicals are tough. Okay. And after clearing your class 2 and class 1 medical, this need to be submitted to the DGCA. Then he will give you something 
to be verified to be clear i'm just mentioning you if you are confused about the class 2 and class 1 medical i'm just mentioning which one will be the first okay for the ejs way for you you need to clear the class 2 medical when your class 2 medical is finished or you cleared it then you have to submit your class 2 medical to dgca then they will generate a file number now the question asks you what is file number the file number is your recognition in the dgca you can recognize by your file number in dgca okay when then they will generate your file number whenever your file number is generated then you can easily apply for the class 1 medical now we're going to talk about the education and cost once you are cleared with your class 2 and class 1 medicals you just need to apply for exams for applying exams you need a computer number okay you need a computer number by ceo central examination organization okay this computer number recognized you in ceo throughout your career whenever they wanted to communicate you will communicate through ceo with this number and one more thing you need a police verification okay you need to be verified with your local police your area by the commissioner's office okay you don't have any criminal cases on the name of you okay you just need a police verification once you are done with all these major criteria now go you have to go through the other major criteria is the cpl that is commercial pilot license there are two methods to get it method 1 step number 1 it is apply to a flying school in flying school you need to clear two exams the one or is the theory exams and second one is the practical exam in theory exam they taught you about they teach you about the air navigations air regulations and all and there is a 200 hours of flying practical exams you need to clear both of them now we are going to talk about what are the best flying schools in india the best flying schools in india okay are igrua indira gandhi rashtriya udan academy mpfa madhya pradesh flying academy bombay aviation club ahmedabad aviation and uh, and the in ahmedabad there is uh, aviation and aeronautics okay then uh, uh, people used to go a lot uh, in abroad like europe canada russia new zealand okay the thing is in india it will the duration for in, for the flying school is 18 months to 2 years but in abroad you will complete it in 6 months to 12 months okay only in you can complete in 6 months to 12 months in abroad so people used to do go a lot to abroad for the for the flying school step number 2 apply for a job once you are done with your flying hours to 200 flying hours you are have to apply for a job just check out the official website of uh, fuel lines uh, yeah, indigo spice jet uh, air asia uh, go air then you can check in the eligibility uh, the hirings as for the cpl requirements for the pilot once you are get selected for any airline they will they will teach you about the another type of training is step 3 that is type rating okay in type rating is like uh, in cpl they will you will fly on small aircraft like cessna but after when you are selected in airline they will teach you about on airbus and boeing few airlines uh, take the air boeing training few airlines give the boeing train okay these are the three steps in the method one now we can talk about the method number 2 method number 2 is the cadet program in india two airlines go for the cadet program is the indigo and spice it but this cadet program are costier than the method one in method one we go through with the uh, first of all you go with the flying school taking 6 uh, to 18 months to 2 years for a flying school then you have to go for the type rating it will cost different okay but in the cadet program they will give you job assurance first you have to clear their interviews and all first of all whenever you clear their interviews you are selected in the cadet program they will give you the job assurance okay they will give the job and there is a perfect contract for it that you will get a job and they will took care of your everything your cpl license and your type rating now we are going to talk about the cost for the method number 1 the cost for the flying school is in india is approx 
you can take 32 40 lakh 32 45 50 lakhs okay but the typewriting cost different it will in india it will cost you approx 15 to 30 lakhs okay and both this after combining it will take you 60 to 80 lakhs but in cadet program it will take more than it it will take approx 90 lakh to 1 crore but people go through the cadet program because it will give us job assurance so people used to go with the cadet program okay now we are talking about the salary as a junior first officer in india the salary is 25000 to 75000 or 1 lakh few airlines pay 1 lakh too once you became the more experienced as a first officer you will take salary of 2 lakh to 3 lakhs 2.5 lakhs too few airlines pay 2.5 lakh 3 lakh 3, 3 lakh too once you are getting more experience once you become a captain you will get a salary of 5 lakh to 6.5 lakh 7 lakhs this will getting more whenever you gaining more experience it will take like 6 lakh to 7 lakh 8 lakh 10 lakh 15 lakhs too the company will pay you more when you are getting more experience in it thank you all and just don't forget to subscribe my channel if you find my video more informative to you more useful to you just like the video and if you find if you have more queries about just you can do comment i will reply every comment on my last video i uploaded thank you for all love for the first video of my channel if you find more informative this video just like comment share and subscribe my channel and you can share to your friends whoever want to be a pilot who need to be a pilot who dream is to be a pilot just share with them